It's a clean room. It will prevent even the smallest of particles from contaminating the spacecraft on its trip from Aurora to the launch pad in Cape Canaveral, Florida. So that's why we're so excited to see it get loaded because it means it's done, it's built. Arlene Nab says the weather satellite was nine years in the making, from design to assembly at Lockheed Martin Aerospace in Littleton. It's the third member of a weather satellite team called Geostationary Operational Environmental Satellites, or GOES. Uh, GOES is uh, going to be launched to monitor both Earth and space weather. Nab says the advanced weather instruments on GOES will push meteorology to a new level, and the key is resolution. And resolution means that we can see smaller things that, than we were able to see before. NOAA scientist Dan Lindsay says GOES can spot the bubbling of cumulus clouds indicating the formation of severe thunderstorms. It can pinpoint weather activity like individual lightning strikes, tiny vortices in the eye of a hurricane signaling possible rapid intensification or changes in direction. And it can even spot wildfires when they're smaller than an acre. But before this satellite can be a pilot for meteorology, it must first be a passenger. A lot of people put a lot of time into making sure that it's done very carefully, so I'm not really particularly nervous about it, uh, it but it is definitely an exciting time. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.